Welcome to the spoken tutorial that explains how to use forums. In this tutorial, we will learn to register on the spoken tutorial website, view forum questions, post a new question in forums, answer a question in forums, and search via keyword or video time. This tutorial is recorded on Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system and Firefox web browser. You can use any OS or web browser of your choice. Spoken tutorial forums are used to post questions on a particular portion of a specific tutorial. Any registered learner can ask doubts related to a particular FOSS course. Offline learners can refer to the forum questions and answers to clear their doubts. I'll open Firefox web browser and type spoken-tutorial.org. The homepage of the Spoken Tutorial website opens. On the menu bar, locate forums and click on it. We are redirected to the Spoken Tutorial Forums web page. On the top part of the page is a slider which displays all the software series in graphic form. Just below the slider is a prominent blue button named View All Previous Questions. On the right of this button, we can see the total number of questions posted so far and the total number of answers posted till date. Below this is the recent questions section. Here we can view the 10 most recently posted questions arranged in chronological order. At the top right corner we can see search, ask question and login links. We will learn about these later in this tutorial. Now Let's click on View All Previous Questions button. Immediately, we can view all the questions that have been posted in forums till date. The entire sorting is in alphabetical order of FOSS name. All questions with FOSS name starting with A is displayed first. So, we see Advanced C questions followed by Advanced C++ and so on. 20 questions are displayed at a time on the page. To see more questions, we can use the page selector at the bottom of the list. Please note, we are viewing these questions without any login. To view the corresponding answers, simply click on the title of the question like this. Now, we can see all the answers posted by various users for this particular question. Click the back button of the browser to come back to the previous page. Note the various column headers. These are clickable. Now, let's click on Tutorial and Title column heads to see what happens. Each time, we see that the sorting changes to alphabetical order of that column. Now let's click on minute, date, view and answers columns. The sorting changes to ascending or descending order of that particular column. We can see how many answers have been given for a particular question in the answers column. Views column specifies the number of views that a particular question has received. User column displays the username who posted the question. In the FOSS column, click on the magnifying glass icon next to the FOSS name. For example, I'll click on the magnifying glass next to Moodle Learning Management System. It shows a list of all the tutorial names on which questions were posted in alphabetical order. Now, click on the magnifying glass icon next to any tutorial name. I'll click on Admin Dashboard. 
all the questions posted for the tutorial admin dashboard are displayed. The order of display is in the ascending order of minutes and seconds. This helps us to check all the questions that are posted under a particular FOSS and tutorial. Now, click on any question to read the full question and the answers posted. To return back to the question list of that particular tutorial, click on the name of the tutorial. Let me go back to the same page once again. To return back to the question list of that particular FOSS, click on the name of the FOSS. Let us go to the home page of forums. To do so, click on the logo and the text Spoken Tutorial Forums at the top left. Next, we will see how to use the search feature on forums. Click on the search link at the top right of the page. In the search by keyword tab, we see a text box with a hint to type a FOSS name. I'll type Arduino and click on the search button. All the forum questions that contain the word Arduino get displayed. Next, click on the search by time tab. Four drop-down menus are displayed on the page. In select category drop-down, we have to choose the FOSS. I will select Scilab. In select tutorial drop-down, choose the tutorial. I will select XCOS introduction. Then select the minutes and seconds range in the respective drop-down menus. And click on the search button. If the selected minute and second has any questions, then they will be displayed. This is how we can view questions and answers on forums. What should we do if we want to post a new question? First of all, we have to be a registered user in Spoken Tutorial website to post a question. Click on the login link at the top right of the page. If you are a registered user, Type the username and password and click on the login button. If you are not a registered user, please read the information given under rules and regulations, then click on the register button. Register yourself window appears. Type in all the details as requested in the form and then click on the register me button at the bottom right of the window. You will get a notification email in your registered email ID. Locate this mail in your inbox, spam or junk folders. Move it to your inbox and click on the link given in this mail to activate your account. This is a self-authentication process. Now, let's come back to the forum's homepage and log in with our registered username and password. Next, we will see how to post a question. Click on Ask Question link at the top right of the page. Click on Select a Category drop-down. Select the FOSS in which you want to ask the question. I'll select Moodle Learning Management System. Next drop-down, is to select which particular tutorial you want to post a question on. So, I'll click on Select a Tutorial drop-down and select Users in Moodle. Next, select the minute range at which we have a doubt in that tutorial. We can also specify the exact seconds range from the tutorial. For example, while watching the tutorial, I had a doubt in between 6 to 7 minutes and 20 to 30 seconds. Next, type a proper title for the question. This will help other users to search for the same kind of related questions. I'll type create CSV file in the title text box. Question text part. I'll type the question as shown here. Then click on submit question button. Immediately, the question is posted on the forums page. 
Next, we will see how to answer a question. Domain experts, spoken tutorial team members, or anyone who knows the answer can reply. But one has to give relevant answers and use a friendly tone. Also, avoid posting any obscene, hateful, or nasty comment. The questions and answers posted on forums are moderated at regular intervals. Any of the above mentioned content will be purged. Now, I'll log in as another registered user, Nirmala Venkat, and post an answer to this question. In the question column, I'll click on the question title, Create CSV File. It will open a new web page. In the answer text box, I can type the answer. I'll type as shown. Then, click on the Submit Answer button. So this is how we can post questions and answers on Spoken Tutorial forums. Forum questions and answers are displayed on the video player page of each tutorial. This applies to online as well as offline content. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to register on the Spoken Tutorial website, view the forum questions, Post a question in forums. Answer a question in forums. And use the search feature of forums. Login is not required to view the questions that are posted in forums. To post a question and to answer a question, login is mandatory. Don't post irrelevant questions in the forums. Make use of the forum discussion as instructional reading material. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT. MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Nancy and Nirmala Venkat. And this is Nancy Verke along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.